we are headed to our community mulch pile. In fact, our town hasn't started the mulch yet, but this pile was from last year. It should be fine. We're going to use it. We're using it in the garden, so it'll be perfectly composted for us. And we're going to pick up a load. No worries. I am not shoveling. I told her she couldn't. I'm going to be good. And it's a beautiful day today. Uh, the boys are home, obviously, with COVID running around our house. We are all in quarantine. So this mulch pile is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> We're gonna shovel up some mulch, take it home to the garden, and I'm gonna have the boys help me get started with that. It is supposed to be in the mid 60s all week. Very typical New York weather. You go from freezing temperatures to mid 60s. It's almost like we miss spring entirely. So I wanna try to see if I can get some of my broccoli, onions, possibly cabbage and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts in too. We'll see how much the boys can help me get done. But this is, let's see, Hannah's second? I think it's Hannah's second car ride. And she's doing really well so far. But we're all going, we're all going stir crazy. I'm going stir crazy. And I took three weeks off for the garden. The garden cannot be taken off anymore. So since the boys are home, I think this is a prime opportunity to get them to assist me in getting some of that work done until I can get back up to full speed. All right, so that changed really quickly. We never ended up getting mulch. Um, Art got very ill feeling and thought he was gonna pass out. So anyways, long story short, Art was seriously dehydrated. Kids are very cranky. Art tested positive for COVID. I tested positive for COVID. It's a fun place around here right now. We're going to eat dinner. And Charity went to Hillcrest for me. Picked up a whole bunch of distressed items I had ordered last week. And hello. I'll, hello. Lily's in cheerful spirit. And this little Hannah, she's okay. She just... She wants mommy. Charity found this clearance at Aldi, so she picked some of those up. I'm going to do a complete food haul because there's so much food that we got on sale. And I'll show you that in another video. But for tonight, we're going to eat that. And I don't know. She bought sour cream. I don't know. But we're just doing leftovers. Nobody's really hungry. So this is dinner. Things are settled down a little bit. We have everything set out for our food haul. Lydia has Hannah. She's sleeping. And everyone is just really low key. Peter was the first one that had COVID. And it very quickly was at three days it spread to everyone. And they said that's what the the incubation time is three days. And that was exactly what we've experienced. Um, generally, I think the kids are hit a little bit harder than Art or me. But I don't know. Tomorrow we might feel worse. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm going to film this and I'll be back. What are you doing, Art? I am Can't going through the Night Night Crackers, also known as Oyster Crackers. Um, so the kids like the little uh, the little squares that fit in between the cracks on these things. Uh, the machine is supposed to pull them out, but they don't. So those are the special ones. Then the ones that don't come apart, let's see, those are called teddy bears. I'm showing the panda. Let's see. Then we got a panda. We haven't had one of these in years. That's a panda. Right. Stop and sign. This is a stop sign. <laughs> we don't have any owls today. And we also have a burn. Oh yeah, a burned one. An owl is like that. If one of the if one of the shapes is missing right there, that would be an so owl. One shape. Okay. And so anyway, the kids just like this. It's a, a fun little uh, thing. I know it's weird. Probably no one else in the world does this. <laughs> But um, anyway. Or it's parsnips and parsnips. Right, we do a lot of weird things. <laughs> what was I at? 64, 67. Wow, look at all those. Yeah, 70, 73 yeah. shapes so far. The thing is, whenever we don't get many shapes or specials, we say, oh no, they fixed our machines. That's right. Well, there's another stop sign. Their machine must be pretty broken because that's all. Yeah, yeah. we like look broken machines. Pile. Dad, you forgot one. Uh-oh. 74, oh. 75, 76. <laughs> the most we've ever gotten is 110. Uh, I don't think they're going to hit 110. Do you today. know, someone will probably do this because of what we said. <laughs> so I'll go to Aldi, 
Get your get the oyster crackers there, and you can do this too. Maybe we need to have a key of all of the 85, <laughs> shapes. 86. We got a package I wanted to open, and I just made myself some tea. Let's see if I can find a place to plop you guys. You need a scissors? Yeah, we need scissors. We'll open it up. And. Thumper, what are you doing over there? What's he gnawing at? I'll be back. I hear him. Something. So if you guys remember right, several months ago, the company Kiki and Anna sent me a swaddle set for the baby. And they asked me what I was having and I said, well, my gut feeling is a boy. If you watch the birth video, you know that I had a girl. Hey, people should never listen to me. So they went ahead and sent me pink for Hannah. And we have been swaddling her every day with um, boy color swaddles. She is swaddled right now. I found a gray one. So she's in a gray one tonight. But I am going to get these washed and used for her. But, you know, this... Hannah really likes these, um, Hannah really likes muslin, the swaddles, and I think it's because it's not that cold. Um, <clears throat> I've used heavier swaddles for the other kids, but you have to remember, Lillian was December and Daniel was January, and those are really cold months here, so, you know, we needed something a little bit heavier, but these are just, just the right temperature. Oh, look at this. This is the because little doggy is made out of the swaddle, too. Oh, neat. So, it's got one a little wrinkled. white swaddle and then polka dots and stripes. Look at this, guys. This is adorable. Doggy, but it's made out of the same fabric as the swaddles. So, if she really loves the swaddles, she has the doggy to go with it. So cute. How are you doing, kiddo? So, so. She's just finishing up some tea. And then she's going to hit the hay. Yeah, you should feel better by tomorrow. Really start turning the corner. And I got my tea here. I'm drinking echinacea tea. I think, Grace, you had tangerine? I think it was mandarin or tangerine, and I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to get echinacea tea, but... We got the wrong one. Mm. Oops. Happens. So thank you very much, Kiki and Anna, for sending these out. I really thought I was having a boy. <laughs> but don't ever listen to me. What can I say? We swaddle her, usually for her naps. And... And she really, really just really likes being swaddled up. She does We don't swaddle her tightly she likes her arms out and she was born that she was born with her hands up by her face so we sort of swallow her like that and she's very very happy and very content to sleep like that we're gonna try it again <laughs> we are going back to the mulch pile Art is feeling much better but he wisely brought with him a bottle of water so he can stay hydrated not that we're gonna be gone long but just in case and we're gonna see if we can at least get the mulch. It's mid 60s, it's gorgeous. Yes, I have my jacket on. I was afraid I was gonna be cold. <laughs> but it is gorgeous out. And we're gonna see if we can get some of the mulch spread today, not all of it. I don't have that high of hopes for that. But if we can start, I would like to again, get some of the cabbage and those plants in the greenhouse in because it's gonna be warm this week and it's a good week to put them in. That airplane is huge. I don't think you guys can tell from the camera how big it is. It's a C-130. That is... It's a C-130 gunship. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. Whoa! This is hard for little boys because it's mostly sticks. Yeah. Yeah. It's frozen in the middle. Is it frozen? <laughs> okay. Well, that, that tarp scene better days are...
Are you queen of the mulch pile? Daniel, come here. You can help I guess how you can watch it. Wow! <laughs> Look at this. They have a eagle's nesting stand. Looks like it's made mostly out of a pallet, but that sign says it was in memory of. I don't know if you guys can see it, but Mike Nyhan and I have a story about him. Mike Nyhan and I used to ride together at the emergency squad. He was a fabulous man, and. Um, I remember he just loved my children and one day Charity was oh maybe three two or three and this is this I say this to my shame but it was a learning thing being young and Charity had come in I was on call and Art had brought her down and Charity had bought brought me some flowers just you know little violets or or dandelions that she had picked and she brought him in and she was so happy to see me and she handed it to me and I said, oh, thank you. And without thinking, shame, shame on me, I took them and I threw them in the trash. I still am horrified that I actually did that. And Mike Nyhan stopped me and he goes, Janelle, do you know what you just did right in front of Charity? And I didn't, I had, I didn't even realize, I didn't even put two and two together. I mean, it was shameful. but. It taught me something very quickly that day, is that I really need to appreciate even the small gifts that my children, because for my children, those flowers were a big deal, and I just chucked them. So that's my little story of Mike Nyhan. I am forever grateful for him pointing that out to me so I could really appreciate my children. I was maybe 20, 21 years old, just didn't just didn't recognize it but I'm very thankful for Mike and you know pointing that out to me and saying hey you need to appreciate your kids a little bit more we are home from the mulch and the girls have been helping me try to get one little of the squares of my garden done that's what I love about square the um, doing the little I don't want to say the raised beds but the one section is because I can compartmentalize and say I can do one garden bed and I'm done that way I'm not overdoing it this is what I've done so far the boys shoveled the mulch for me and we've got the, just the outline of the path right here for this one bed and I think we're gonna do broccoli and lettuce here I got the broccoli out this was from the greenhouse and I am going to actually cover it uh, tonight not because it's going to get really cold but I just want to protect it from the sun um, these have been in the greenhouse and they probably have been a little bit hardened off but I don't want to like totally kill them so I'm going to uh, just put these in and then put a row cover over them for the next couple days and see how they do I finished. I did four broccolis, decided on four cauliflower, and then there are, I believe, 16 lettuce plants, and we'll see how they do. I'm trying something different this year, and I bought myself plant covers. I've heard that they are really good, particularly for like the broccoli and the cabbage, keeping the bugs away. So I am planting a little bit earlier than I normally do, but I am going to put this row cover on and it's an experiment. I'll write it all down in my journal. We'll see if it works or not. It's beautiful out today. I mean, it's in the 60s, so it's not really a heat thing, but it's more of a bug thing. And maybe keep the rodents out too. I don't know. I'm afraid the chickmunks or the red squirrels are gonna come through and be like, ah, lettuce, tender lettuce. And I don't want them to eat that. So I think by putting the row cover over, that may prevent it. I don't know. We'll see. I might lose everything. I have a lot of extra broccoli and cauliflower. We had a good year for the germination. So it's okay if I do lose them. I'm still early. But if I can get more of a harvest now, I'd be thrilled. 
it's almost midnight and obviously I'm just returning to the vlog. I've been trying to get the birth video edited. It just is taking a long time to find the time to actually sit down and work on it and I do want to share it with all of you guys so thank you for your patience and waiting for that. We did not finish getting our bulk food put away and I just life life is crazy right now but i am going to end the video here thanks so much for coming along i hope you guys are having a fabulous day and we'll see you for our next video good night <laughs>